Uh, I believe Raido sent Elegant into losers in the Mango, and then he ended up beating him yeah. in the Mango. So that was dope. But yeah, we are going to switch out. Uh, it's time for Korean and Z Fly oh, to, be a great to, to yeah. end the night. So uh, yeah, thank thanks you for guys, listening, yeah, guys, for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of the tournament. All right, guys, I'll catch you around. Have a great night, guys. What's up, everybody? We got Z-Fly on the mic, and of course, I'm joined by 2GG Korean. What it do? No, okay, first of all, before we get into this match, I know they, these two, they, they want to get right into it. You know, it's a late night here, for sure. And, I'm, you know, I just want to give a big thank for everyone to keep tuning in. Yeah. Like, I mean, we've had a really stacked tournament here, a lot of great talent. Insanely stacked, and we're here, top four, and this is best of five territory. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, let's get right into it. Of course, I mean, Spargo kind of like the, the underdog story this whole tournament, right? Oh, definitely the dark horse. You know, a lot of people already knew about Spargo just because, you know, he does so well in the Knife Awards. Really uh, an online warrior. Uh, even before that, or Knife Awards, he was doing well, the, what is it, the, the Battle Network Thursdays? Yeah, he ended the Battle Wi-Fi team, dude. And then we had seen him here a couple times at Wednesday Night Fights and always performing very well. Definitely a kid you want to keep your eye on. Oh yeah, for sure. And honestly, rocking a character that is not too popular in the meta, especially in the top level play. And we had some insanely top level talent come out tonight. And Spargo has taken so many names, man. He takes, he took like Meme, Void, like dude, th th this kid has been taking out so much people. It's insane. He, he beat Elegant in winners. Great. It's interesting that these two are, have had to play today because, you know, I, I've talked to Elegant a lot about this matchup and what his thoughts are, and he keeps telling me that he thinks that uh, Luigi loses. Yeah. He actually thinks this is one of uh, Luigi's harder matchups out of all the losing ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, not even a limit burn because of the directional air dodge. Oh, big shield. Oh. Wow. I'm, how did he not get pulled? <laughs> what? I'm actually amazed that he did not get shield. Shield Master yeah. Elegant. Yeah, and this is a really, really big break for Elegant. Um, like I said, Spargo was the one who put Elegant into losing bracket, so Elegant has getting the run back in. Game number one looking so good so far. But that was the best of three, right? When right. they played? Yeah. So a little bit of a different story here. They are gonna have best of five, so just a couple extra games. Could make a difference. That. Yes, it was. It was a good So, yeah, in winner's quarters, Spargo's able to eliminate Elegant. Okay, oh. wow, does not even... I, in those kind of situations, you can even, like, just body block or, like, get hit by the side beam. But, nonetheless, Spargo will close it up with that out, um, up smash. Mm, that's right. Okay, getting the cross up there into a back air. Limit is online, but, oh, good. Wow. Good shield in that. Oh! Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. They're yeah, gonna get the damage regardless. And Spargo, man, I, I feel like in these last talk situations, he gets so much momentum as Cloud, and doesn't necessarily, like, string his opponent, but he gets all these soft resets. He does such a good job. Oh, wow. The one, uh, one of the few things that will beat get up attack. <laughs> Invulnerability. Yeah, intangibility there on the down beat. But the yeet, the back throw from the plunger. Elegant is gonna take game one here against Spargo. As you can see to the right, Spargo is a very young person. <laughs> mm. Very young person, but with a lot of support. He has a fan club that follows him everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah especially when he comes out to these SoCal locals. I, I very, um, obviously him being so young, he can't make it out to everything. <laughs> but, I mean, now it is summer, so hopefully we're going to see him come out a lot more. And, of course, with $15,000 on the line, uh, I, I think Spargo made, a, made an exception to come out. Skip out some on some of his Wi-Fi tournaments. <laughs> yeah, skip that Wi-Fi tournament. You know, put that homework to the side for now. Okay, good dash attack or down throw into up air. Just limit the cross slash. I just add so much more damage than it did before. Yeah, up the Azure, we definitely see Spargo abusing that. That is probably one of the best changes Cloud got in terms of uh, buffs. He got a lot of nerfs. From coming from the last game, but uh, up yacht shield being a very considerable tool and very useful, honestly. Okay, single up air. I like that. Just waiting to see what Elegant is going to do and then punishing with an up smash. He didn't really use limit though. No, he just used the movement and uh, 
get the movement buff. Yeah, and I think that's completely fine. Oh, almost gets the grab. Oh, and there's the down smash actually. Barely not gonna do it, but can he nail the edge guard here? Elegant saving the double jump. Oh, and he got it! <laughs> the drop down dare. Woo! This boy's clean, man. That oh wow, I, I like the, that he tried to use the directional air dodge to save the limit there. And it's nice too, because if you got hit out of the directional air dodge, you still have the limit for backup as well. Definitely had all avenues covered. Yep, and there's these resets I'm talking about. He's doing such a great job. Tried to end this man's life with the forward smash. Star Spargo not afraid, but the back throw from Luigi. Elegant, gonna close out that first dog. But man, Spargo working on this uh, pretty decent lead right now. Ooh, he even stays out the forward air and following up with an up air. Now here comes the ledge trap from Spargo. Such a good use of the platform to stall out um, the back air just a little bit. Oh yeah, for sure. And now Spargo utilizing these platforms for that extension, the up tilt into the up air, man. Spargo looking, this is look like an exact reverse of game one. Oh, that's right. And now you can see Spargo burning up limit, using the blade beam, applying a little bit more pressure, especially being on the platform. It did cover the platform. It, if Elegant had decided to drop down, it still would have been pressured. This is where Luigi can really struggle. Oh. Wow, you're dead. The charge, too. He dashed right underneath him before he got down, just so he could get that charge, just so he could position himself for that forward smash. Spargo with a very, very convincing game number two. Yeah, and Elegant could have chosen to land on the platform, so that was just a hard read coming yeah. out from Spargo. Elegant had one final mix-up right there, and he did not get the mix, and Spargo with the hard read. And I like that Spargo had the confidence in it 3 2 because he didn't go for, like, I'm getting a hit. No, Spargo was like, I'm going to take this coin flip, and I'm going for the kill. And I, I definitely appreciate that because yeah. he got the kill at, like, 80. Yeah, he got the kill early, and then even if he had chosen wrong, he was still up a full stock, so the risk-reward was definitely in his favor. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, game number three on Kalos. Now, like we said before, this is best of five territory, so... This is definitely not the last game here. We'll see who gets the, the edge here in this game number three. Very important though, because it could determine who gets the last pick of the of the set. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so there's Flame Hazard. A ton of damage coming out from Spargo Specials. Oh, the drop down cross slash! He almost had it. And I love how Spargo's just like frame trapping with up tilts, and then if they land in front of him, he just goes straight into the upbeat. It's such a quick option in front of him. Does 18 damage if you fully connect everything. And it is reactable, so he just, you know, Ooh, just pulls, that pulls the trigger. Just one down tilt, that's all it takes. Yep. Spargo right there, uh, going for the wall jump back here there, but elegant with the feet of fury, man. He was just flinging out those down tilts. Definitely a great option to cover there. And, you know, Spargo is doing really well, but Cloud still has a... Uh, so has the same weaknesses he had in Smash 4. Very susceptible recovery, man. You can definitely abuse that offstage game and get the early kills on Cloud. You can see, uh, you see Elegant actually pretty trying to set up with his, uh, his man. Oh, oh, get the downer! Oh, man, he did not get the spike. That was so close. That would have been so clutch for Spargo, but I feel like the misfire was just a bit too low. He wasn't a little kind of uncharted territory there for Spargo. Definitely something that's probably not practiced and you have to really innovate on the fly. Oh yeah, for sure. But the up air, <laughs> the cloud in the, in the crowd, but <laughs> double up air will close it out for Spargo there. Two stocks of peace and of course Cloud is no stranger to racking up that damage in cross left. Tomahawk over the fireball? Yeah, right into the grab as well. So clean coming out from Spargo. Man, I, I, I have to say, like I have not really seen quite a Cloud do it like Spargo and Ultimate, man. Like, I mean, there might be a better Cloud out there, but from what I've seen so far, this is like the cleanest Cloud play I've ever seen. A lot of the Cloud mains coming from Smash 4 over into Ultimate did opt to choose different characters, but you know, Spargo is making it work. Even getting the cross that's finally getting that shield poke. Yeah, but not gonna do it quite yet. Still got the ledge trap, and yes, he nails the forward tilt with that Buster Sword sending Elegant straight to the blast zone. Love that that F tilt still kills, especially at the ledge. You can still frame trap with it from back airs and nares. Oh, yeah. That's a great tool. It's a very active hitbox as well for catching some of those normal get-ups. Using the air dodge once again. He's going to hold on to this limit. It's a big deal. Okay. Oh, 
shield poke? No. Wow, I didn't have any good things to poke. You got it the correct way? Wow, I guess it didn't matter there. Kind of looked like a little sus I'm not 100% sure, but we might see the zero to death come back. Oh, oh what was that? He actually missed. And then, oh, that smash just barely getting, uh, getting clipped by that uh, tornado from Elegant. Yeah, and I honestly don't know if it was just maybe a slight miscalculation from Elegant or maybe some sort of smash DI coming out from Spargo, but either way, pretty much even the limit is about to go online, and we see that Spargo is not opting to use it just yet. He did not charge, he was very close. So if he lost neutral and went off stage, he would have got the limit from the hit, and I love Spargo's limit management. It's very different limit management from Smash 4, and I feel like a lot of players still kind of not used to it yet. Okay, well he opted to burn the limit by using Blade Beam, grinding. Going for cross slash, but it's gonna get jammed off stage. And now the down tilt. Oh, jump. Oh, tech. Oh, you just had no chance of returning. Elegant with the fist bump. Clutching out that game number three, man. Those down tilts. Yeah, it was definitely not looking like Elegant was gonna be, you know, coming out with the W in that game three, but he was able to pull, uh, bring it back. Yeah, I mean, really, really clutch stuff. And honestly, the, uh, the last two socks were pretty much that offstage set up from the down tilt, mm -hmm. catching Sparrow kind of like double jumping near the ledge. It's a dangerous territory, but I mean, at the end of the day, Cloud has to have some kinds of mix-ups, and he's just recovery is going to be successful. And even the down tilt can hit a B itself as well. I believe the last. I'm not. I'm not too sure, but you can pretty much hit down tilt. So. Oh, yeah, you can definitely trade with Clem Hazard for sure. You know, one tool that we've been seeing Elegant really abuse is the tornado, especially on recovery. You can see, like, just right there, Spargo was trying to get, like, fish Elegant landing. You know, maybe he can land in a couple up air, continue to juggle. But as soon as Elegant opts for that tornado, the it just nullifies whatever juggle Spargo's going for. Yeah, and even if you get some kind of clank, it kind of resets Elegant to neutral. You don't get really much of a punish unless you, like, shield the whole thing or let it all completely go off and then you just come in and punish it. It's decently laggy. Okay, there's another falling tornado for recovery. Unfortunately for Spargo, but Limit has you know, lost his timer. Dude, it burned out right when he started cross slashing, so he did like a regular cross slash. That was uh, definitely unexpected here. Spargo trying to get that down here on the up B. We saw it a little earlier, uh, game one or two. So he, we're, we're de we definitely know he's capable of it. And it looks like Elgin's become wise to Spargo's like stalling, just delaying back air uh, by landing on the platform a little bit. Ooh. Wow, and he just gets that stock. I like the mix-up there. Goes on top of the platform, then falls through the platform. Kind of mixed up the rhythm and the timing a little bit. I think it caught Elegant off guard here. He's going to use the limit to cash out for damage. No, the tornado just gets him out. That's right. All you need is one parry there, and that'll start these up tilts. Oh, waiting just a little bit too long to let, the, let it rip, and he's going to pay a big price for that. That sucks. <laughs> I cannot sugarcoat that any other way. I think, I definitely feel like Spargo did the correct thing, but just a tad bit off, man. And, you know, it, it just sucks when you're in those situations where you do the right thing, but you slight miscalculation, and then it's like, yep. oh, wait a minute. Instead of me killing you, like, I died. Yeah, it's almost like, really? getting the, almost like getting the counter read. Like, you know your opponent's going to throw out an attack, so you throw out the counter, and then they just miss space and whiff right in front of you, and then you're dead. <laughs> And I love the mix-up from Spargo there. He empty hopped in his face, put so much fear in him, landed on the ground. Elegant thought he was safe to maybe drop the shield and an empty land Tomahawk right into the limit side. View. What a creative way to close out the stock with Spargo. Ooh, and the B reverse up B as well. Spargo looking clean out here. Yeah, when it comes to mm. these B reverse up B, oh. he's got the trigger finger. And you know what? Spargo's ready. As soon as Elegant touches his shield, if it doesn't put out too much shield sun on him, he's put he's letting it rip. Uh, Elegant going for the grab instead of an up B on that tech roll away. Hmm, very interesting. Oh, oh. He had to he forced the directional air dodge to the right, so it kinda at least he didn't get punished for it. That moves a lot more punishable in this game. But Elegant is gonna get the tornado and he gets the cross up on the DI. That's the only way Spargo could die there. And man, uh, pretty big break here for Elegant considering his character can get a grab at zero and really turn things around. Even if he doesn't get the zero to death, he gets so much damage, so. See, if Spargo can avoid that, uh, that nasty grab, the, the plunger, man, you don't, you don't want to get hit by that dirty plunger. Okay, well, there's a forward air, and it's going to convert into an air. Easy 20 damage. And now the damage just continues racking up, but a back air will send Elegant off stage. Okay, here's the offstage situation. Elegant still has a double jump. He's going to go low here. 
Wow, great reaction from Spargo. He's dropping that shield. Right so there. good with those F tilts. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we don't even see. I'm not even seeing too many like boosted uh, tilts, like the sliding tilt, uh -huh. F tilts. We just see main. Oh, whoa! What, what kind of that? trade was that? Sakurai. <laughs> So there's definitely some type of trade there and just land elegant to the other side. Oh, and there's the up smash out of shield. We got a game number five. Of course, I wouldn't have it any other way, especially with two players of their caliber. The Spargo being like definitely the, the dark horse of the tournament. Elegant being a veteran here at Wednesday Night Fights. You already know Elegant wants that run back, man. It is not fun getting double eliminated by the same person. He has the chance for the redemption, man. Game five, though, Spargo versus Elegant. We're going to take it to Kalos. Interesting that uh, Spargo actually let Elegant take him here. This is the one of the maps that he had lost in this set. It gives him a decent amount of room. Uh, oh wait, up, down, all around. How much damage are we taking? 78 is the, uh, the percent marker. Try to get the up, out of shield. Oh, but he definitely face. wanted it. He wanted fair enough finishing touch. I'm, I, I don't know if that's a true thing, but I mean, just fair enough something would have been big damage. He also had the limit as well, just to. Yeah, it could have been fair into cross slash, fair into something. But okay, good use of wall jump to make sure you stall out. Don't get the coin game. Okay, so why we're going high. See how much time Elegant's gonna let him get away with that. Ooh, I like the uh, the angle on that directional air dodge going left. Yes, Spargo reacting, really good stuff. But the up smash out of shield will catch the get up attack here for Elegant. Yeah, Spargo may be just be may just be pushing too many buttons at the moment. I like the idea of backing off. I mean, when giving, you gotta, giving Elegant a little bit of space so he can breathe. Yeah, when you got the sword, we got a sword like the Buster Sword. Sometimes all you want to do is swing, but oh, it feels so, so good to swing. <laughs> But sometimes you gotta chill out, uh, go for some of these soft resets. But the back air, Spargo, honestly, not taking too much damage, man. Mm -hmm. And then you know what? Look at that! Look at that limit meter, almost full. He's gonna have access to, uh, you know, limitless cross slash for a little bit more damage. But as soon as he takes a little bit, here it is. Limit is online. Oh, okay, going for right for the insta blade beam there. Trying to get another down here on Elegant, but Elegant not going to let it happen here. Oh, the up air. Up air beating Nair. It definitely shifted his hurt box. <laughs> just, just like Smash 4. Oh, man, that tornado is a very large hitbox. There's also a wind uh, hitbox that kind of like drags you in. So sometimes you'll try to like just be out of range. Oh, man, you have to wait for that plunger, too. <laughs> okay, forward tilt, man, right now. Elegant doing a really good job. Just baiting out a jump option and then running underneath Spargo with an up smash using putting Spargo in a position where oh. Elegant can use an anti-air. And here we go. Big damage. Big damage. But the high ceilings on Kalos, man. Spargo going to live another day. Oh! The forward air. He's going for a limit option. Yes, he does. Wow, what a play. So clutch from Spargo. He knew he had the wall. He knew he could go down that deep and make it back with the wall jump. Oh, oh, we dang. got the Cisse Puedes in the chat, <laughs> or are here in Wednesday Night Fights. You IRL know, chat, IRL chat. <laughs> IRL chat for sure. The way that those, they're all popping off, that definitely are IRL chat if I ever see one. Okay, Elegant now doing oh, a good job. Is that it? Jump. Oh, can you tag? No, you can't. Elegant ending it with the downer, not giving Spargo another chance on stage, and that's where you need to take this cloud out, and man, what a set coming out from both of these players. Elegant getting the run back, man. In the run back, I mean, really showing that uh, he made the adaptation. Best of fives do matter and can make a difference.